Okay, this is the last part of the nested if statement example session, I guess. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a favorite movie uh, example that I, I used to give in class. Basically, I used to have people implement this. Let me turn off that text. So you write a series of nested if statements to test what people's favorite movie are. You don't need to make it the same movies or if statements, but here's an example. And you know, I, I, I would try to get people to be creative and you know, they would ask, can I leave now? So, you know, if you want to do this on your own, you can do this, you can, so, but this is, this is kind of my random version, right? So, you know, if they like Bruce Willis, you could say, uh, you know, if they like Christmas, then their favorite movie is Die Hard, obviously. And if, you know, if they don't, if Christmas is not their favorite holiday, then The Fifth Element. And if they're not fans of Bruce, then maybe they like Keanu Reeves. And, right, you know, if there's a spoon, then, you know, if there's not a spoon, I mean, then their favorite movie is, uh, is The Matrix. If there's a spoon and maybe a puppy or something, then their, you know, favorite movie might be John Wick, right? So, so basically, um, we can convert this into a series of if statements. So for instance, uh, let's, let's begin. So say, let's get the first input, right? Of course, the most important question about movies is Bruce Willis. Uh, are you a fan of Bruce Willis? Very important question, and we've asked it. If Bruce Willis equals, and remember from the previous one, we can do dot lower, so that it'll take whatever you put in the input and give you a lowercase version of whatever it is. So you only have to test it against yes. Then um, what you can do is say, okay, how do you feel about Christmas? Uh, good versus bad. And so hopefully they'll put in good or bad. So if they say if Christmas lower is equal to say good, we print out you know you really like Die Hard, which is a great movie. So nothing wrong with that. You know Elif. Well, why don't we say something else? So now we say else. For instance, what other kinds of Bruce? You know. Uh, I guess we could always do sixth sense, right? So you could say, you know, does he see dead people? And if, you know, we can get a yes, no answer out of that. And so if yes, no is equal to yes, and of course I didn't do a dot lower here, you know, we really should do these dot lowers. There's just a little bit of safety. Otherwise, remember what we'd have to do. We would have to test if this or if yes, no is equal to yes, or if yes, no is equal to yes, or all the other possibilities. So you see that that's, it, it can get a little bit uh, excessive, and perhaps it's not exactly what you want to be doing with your life. So if yes, then we print out, um, you like the sixth sense. Okay, else print out, um, you are really into the fifth, F-I-F-T-H element. Okay, so now let's say that you say, you're not a fan of Bruce Willis, right? So let's think, Maybe you're a fan of Keanu Reeves. So let's say. Or I have a better idea. And 
And so let's say that you can either answer Bruce or, and of course that won't make sense because it has to be lowercase, Bruce Willis, right? Now, there is a question that comes up, and this doesn't really have to do with nesting. This has to do with just what we're allowed to do in if statements. A lot of people would probably be tempted to do something like this. Like a so. Now the problem with this is that this does not work as you expect. I promise you it doesn't work as you expect if you are thinking, but what's wrong with it? The reason why it doesn't do what you expect is because this equality here is only tied to this uh, Bruce Willis lower and this string here. This or completely separates, basically pretend that there's parentheses on this and there's parentheses, technically I guess you could pretend there's parentheses on this. So the reason why you would pretend there's parentheses here is because the or doesn't distribute this equality. The equality is only inside of this one condition here. Over here, this is going to evaluate as a, uh, as a Boolean, right? Which means that it's, it's going to evaluate as a Boolean, which means that it's either going to be true or false, and it's going to be true or false depending on whether it's uh, non-empty, right? So the point is that if you ever do something like this with an or statement, and you say or something true, then this whole if statement is just going to be true, and you're never going to get any meaningful results out of it. So for instance, let's let's actually do that and just see what happens. Okay, no, wrong, 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 wrong. There we go. Let's say uh, I'm a fan of Keanu. How do you feel about Christmas? And then you would say to, your, say to yourself, wait a second. I picked Keanu. I wanted to go into the else clause, right? But I don't go into the else clause. I went straight into here. I feel great about Christmas, right? So, of course, great doesn't count. So we could actually say, or Christmas dot lower say equals to great. So then it'll fix that, right? Uh, no. So you're really into the fifth element, which I I am. So here, uh, let's say, AS, well, no, 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 ASDF. And so how do you feel about Christmas? And you feel good about Christmas. You really like Die Hard, right? So now it kind of makes sense. It's following the logic's path that you expect. But here it's not because it's always going to enter this, um, it's always going to enter this if statement, OK? So here we can also do some nesting inside of here. So we can say. Um, if, uh, what are Keanu's movies that I picked? Matrix and John Wick. Um, sure, those are decent ones. So why don't we say, um, input, is there a screen? Yes. Or black slash n. Right, so instead of making it yes, no, we can make it y slash n. So here's the thing, we can actually make it yes, no again. And keep in mind that this yes, no will never actually interfere with this yes, no. The reason is because this one is only created in this else clause when this is statement is true. And the first one, and this yes, no is only created in this else clause when that first if statement is false. So you'll never actually have any kind of, well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, in this in this example, you won't have any interaction between the two if you're worried about that. So let's say if yes, no, actually we can even just copy paste this. If yes, no is equal to yes, or yes, no dot lower, say is equal to y, right? You're allowed to hit y or yes. So there we go. Um, <clears throat> So we can print uh, if there's a if there's a spoon, uh, you must like John Wick better. Eh, pretty good movie. Else print, you know, what is it? Uh, 
know thyself in uh, in Latin above the door but uh, not really worrying about that the matrix is your favorite Right, so you don't have to use these. I mean, if you make your own little example, you can ask your own questions and do whatever you want. But this is just an example using um, a bunch of random, but I, I would actually say pretty good movies, to, uh, to talk about the nesting of if statements, right? Have we nested some if statements? We've nested some if statements. Do I feel that this is good enough? I mean... If, I, if you were in the class and you were doing this, I would probably make you uh, do more. I'd say, add some more, right? Be creative. But I've been creative. I made the whole thing. So I think that's creative enough. All right, so maybe we'll talk about this on Discord uh, when people start to watch these. Um, and the question is, how do you feel about this format for videos? Do you like the, I mean, of course, here we've had some kind of bigger video in the beginning. I would even probably, if I kept doing these, I'd try to break them down even further. I like uh, the bite-sized format. So think about it, um, and we'll talk about it on Discord. All right. I think I'll play the outro scene now, because it's the end. Thank you.